time to draw another fun herbivore. This time we are going to draw Triceratops. Now, Triceratops, Triceratops is called Triceratops because it has three horns. And I'm going to show you that as we go. Tri, T-R-I, means three, like triangle. But our Triceratops doesn't have a lot of triangles in it. It mostly has circles. So let's go ahead and start with our first circle. This one is going to be off to the side, so it's its head. Wherever you want the Triceratops' head, this is where you're going to draw your circle. And I think that's a pretty good circle for me. And then for the body, we're going to make a bell shape, just like we did for our Stegosaurus. However, the Triceratops is a little bit harder than the Stegosaurus because we're going to have to erase some stuff. So make sure you're following our saying of draw light until you get it right. Make sure your Triceratops is drawn so light with just little ghost lines and you can go over it afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and going from my circle, make a bell shape. And that bell, oh, mine's a little too big. I'm glad I drew light so that I can erase it. I'm going to make another little bell shape. Oh, I like that better. Okay, so now I've got my bell shape and my uh, circle for my head. And now I'm going to round out the body by making a line that comes down from here. See that curvy line? See how it curves in a little bit? And then it's going to curve all the way over here, going up a little bit before it makes a tail. Okay, so looks kind of silly. Doesn't look like a Triceratops yet, but we're going to change that. So first thing we need to do to change it is give it a beak. Triceratops mouth is kind of like a bird beak. Comes out and down, and then it curls up and back down. Go ahead and give it an undermouth as well, and you have your Triceratops' mouth. Now, the Triceratops' head is what it's most famous for. It has a big, giant frill to help um, keep it uh, cool in the sun. So we're going to make a curved line that goes up, and then a big letter C, a big backward C. Good, good. And remember, Triceratops has three horns. So now it's time to put in those three horns. One of them is on the nose. I like how my horn points towards the face. The other two are gonna point the opposite direction and they're both right over the eyes, okay? Speaking of which, let's go ahead and draw in our eye. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far, but right now it can't walk because it doesn't have any legs. So let's go ahead and give our Triceratops some legs. We want our legs to come back and forward, just like the Stegosaurus we drew. And just like the Stegosaurus, it has round feet, like a rhino or a elephant. And then let's put another one behind it. And now we need some legs over here. Curved leg and back. Curved leg and back. Good. Now you can erase some things. Like we're gonna erase this line and this line. I'm gonna leave some of it. This line, this line. I'm gonna erase every other line. I'm gonna erase only the legs that I want to be in front. The lines for those ones, good. And then we want little spikes on the edges of the frill. Just itty bitty little triangles all the way around. Oh, that looks so cute. What do you think? Do you like your Triceratops? I like mine. So if you like yours, I'm very proud of you. Go ahead and color it, outline it, whatever you want. Make sure you're proud of it. And next time we're gonna draw some other dinosaurs. I am, or actually, next time we're drawing some other prehistoric animals. They're not dinosaurs. I'll show you that later. See you then.